we begin tonight with the United States Senate blocking a bipartisan bill aimed at expanding military veteran benefits. Now, it would include those exposed to toxins from burn pits. Burn Pits 360, based in Robstown, traveled to Washington, D.C. this week to voice their frustration toward the senators that voted against adding those benefits. Brandon Schaff has that coverage for us tonight in our top story at 5. Brandon. Good evening, Mike Leslie and Rosie Lopez Torres has some strong words for the 25 senators that voted against the PACT Act. Now that stands for the Honoring Our Promise to Address Comprehensive Toxins Act, which passed the House of Representatives earlier this year. After the Senate initially voted 84 to 14 in favor of that legislation in June, Torres says that one senator is now leading an effort to undo the progress they've made so far. Veterans were not trained to give up. They were trained to fight. We will mobilize our veteran community and we will mobilize America. That's Rosie Lopez Torres with Burn Pits 360 talking on Capitol Hill after a group of senators blocked legislation that would provide benefits to those affected by inhaling burn pit toxins while serving abroad, including her husband, U.S. Army Captain Leroy Torres. Yesterday, 25 villains, along with Senator Toomey, voted to kill a bill that would provide health care and compensation to several generations of veterans. Senator Pat Toomey from Pennsylvania on Twitter calling the PACT Act a, quote, gimmick, saying that it, quote, allows $400 billion in spending completely unrelated to veterans' care, end quote. Oasis County Judge Barbara Canales says she's in full support of what Rosie and Leroy have been doing since the beginning. I think that Rosie and Leroy Torres are heroes, uh, primarily for the awareness that they've created, but more importantly for their opportunity to seek the right to get uh, this legislation passed. Canales saying the legislation will help declare exposure to toxic chemicals while abroad an eligible benefit for veterans struggling to pay related medical bills. And I pray that they will uh, Congress will make the right decisions um, to make certain that veterans who fought for us and particularly defended our freedom uh, will have the benefits that they deserve. Torres not holding back as she addressed Toomey directly. Senator Toomey, how many veterans are going to die without their treatment because of you and other senators who voted no? Please explain to us what is an acceptable amount of death. And former Daily Show host John Stewart was also president in Washington, D.C. and is a longtime supporter of the Burn Pits 360 cause. Now, he did not hold back either, voicing his strong opposition to the Senate's decision to block the bipartisan bill. Mike, Leslie. All right, Brandon, thanks for that update.